us a little bit about how you think this affects the election and voting coming up, because I've heard that many areas affected are Trump counties, that um, some of the areas that are very, very affected, what will it be like for them to have the ability to vote there? Do you have any concerns about kind of the voting process as far as Erica's affected by the hurricane in North Carolina? Yeah, let me give you kind of, I think, the official answer, and then let me give you my personal opinion. I, I think they're two slightly different things, right? I think on the official side, okay. we are rightfully concerned at people's ability to go vote uh, in this particular election. I mean, we've got over 8,000 homes in Western North Carolina that have been completely destroyed. Many, many more than that, uh, and, and families have been displaced. Uh, they are not able to operate with any sense of normalcy. Uh, although power is starting to come back and cellular service is starting to come back, uh, North, Western North Carolina has a long way to go to actually dig themselves out of this storm in some communities are, are truly, from my perspective, going to take a year, if not longer, to 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 recover. And some of them might not recover, uh, given wow. the experience that they have had. And so the, the North Carolina General Assembly pulled about $278 million in the week after the storm from our emergency fund that we have in the state uh, and pushed that money specifically into where it is needed most in Western North Carolina. A portion of that funding actually went to the various boards of elections uh, in, in the affected counties to uh, effectively give them the ability to do what they thought was necessary in order to make sure that, that the people of Western North Carolina have access to vote, can actually go have their voice heard at the ballot box. And so there's a number of different uh, initiatives that uh, between, between uh state representatives and, and, and local offices within the boards of elections uh, that they are taking to ensure that that happens. My personal opinion, uh, the folks in Western North Carolina will crawl over broken glass to go vote after their experience in this hurricane and, and effectively being out there on their own uh, and, and being incredibly frustrated with the lack of federal government response I don't think there's anything that will stop these folks from voting. And that is just based on my personal experience in the week and a half or so that we were running aerial missions into Western North Carolina, uh, helping with yeah. the evacuation, the rescues, and, and then follow on with, with providing supplies and provisions uh, and just talking to folks. They're frustrated. Right. They are upset and they are not going to forget this. So they I just, yeah. my opinion, they're going to go vote. 